Hi, welcome back to Civil Engineering 305. Today we are going to really look at very closely at how do actually materials deform. So our aim is quantification of material deformation. By the way, this particular way of doing things and this particular uh, definition that I'm going to talk about is not there in your text, but you will, you will trust me, what I'm going to say is much, much easier than what the text talks about, okay? So uh, you will, this will be your only notes, unfortunately, I cannot help it because the text does a mess of it. Okay, so the idea is the following. Suppose I took a sheet of rubber and stretched it around. You know, so I took something like this and I pulled on it, and then I twisted it or something and I sheared some sides. I did all kinds of stuff. What will happen is the sheet of rubber will kind of extend and stretch out. Think of like a tent, you know, you can stretch it out and you can really make some peculiar shapes, right? If you want to quantify, see exactly what is happening to it, what you have to do is draw a grid like this. And watch what happens to different portions of the grid. In fact, this is actually what is done. If you go, you, you remember I, sh I showed you that movie uh, with that uh, guy with the cheetah blade running, you know, the guy with the double amputee was running. And what did they do? They at actually attach spots to the body and they showed you what happens, right? It's actually a very common way of looking at it. In, a, in this mechanics, what we do is we draw a grid and then we watch what happens to the grid. Okay, so we are now going to look at it this way and we are going to look at a number of deformations. We are not going to do anything right now, but just observe what is going to happen. Okay, so that's our list. So we are going to go and we are going to look at some interesting deformations and see what happens. Let us see if I can find it. There you go. So let us start with something that we all know. It's called simple extension. So I take a tube of rubber, solid bar, cylinder of rubber, think like one of your click eraser erasers. And what I'm going to do is I am going to pull it. It gets longer and shorter in the Z direction. That's all that happens. Don't worry about the formula and equations or anything. Just look at what happens. Okay. So I'm going to slide it back and forth. Can you see how it got shorter and how it got longer? But you know, if you watch it for a while, see, did you see initially, let me move it here. Okay. Middle. Can you see these little rectangles? If I pull it, the rectangles get longer, but they don't get skinnier. Can you see that? They remain the same size. And you know, you know, it's kind of fake. It doesn't look real. The reason is because in a real material, this you can see that its initial volume was this much. Final volume is this much. So you can do this for a gas. You can expand the volume of a gas, but you cannot take a piece of rubber and expand its volume all that much. So in fact, this is not really accurate. This is not really real. So let's look at the next kind of deformation. This is called isochoric extension. So what is going to happen now is volume of this body is going to remain the same. So what will happen? What do you think will happen if the volume remains the same and the body gets longer? Then obviously the body will get skinnier, thinner. And if the body gets shorter, the body will get fatter. I'll show you what I mean. And then you'll see that it suddenly looks real, more real. Can you see that? It's got flat, it's short and squat, and then it gets long and thin. This is actually much more real. This is what all materials do or many, many materials do. It's very rare for you to see case number one. There are a few cases, but generally by and large, it's very hard to see that. This is called isochoric expansion. And by the way, this is what you do for all common wire drawing operations. So you have a, you have what is called a billet, which is a short squat thing. And then you pull it, you pull it through what is called a mandrel. And it will get longer and longer and skinnier and skinnier and skinnier and longer and longer and skinnier and skinnier until you get a wire. That's how you make wire 
that's how you make bars that's how you do a whole bunch of things this is called a drawing operation because i draw it i pull it by the way this is how you make spaghetti you squeeze it through something so that it becomes long and skinny that's how you get spaghetti okay so this is basically the same operation so this is spaghetti noodle making operation okay now let's look at the next one oops did i start yeah i am doing thank you the next one is actually quite interesting we are now going to move things sideways up to now we have been pulling right so this is tension extension that kind of thing now we are going to move things sideways now see what happens to the grid did you see how it tilted sideways that's called shearing can you see things kind of slide past each other like a deck of cards that's called shearing like that can you see that that's called shearing so we'll take a picture of this for our purposes and we'll stick it in here because we will discuss this later oh, did it undo should we go i should have done paste special sorry please give me a second i'll paste it there We're going to move it up here so we can see all these different grids. Okay, that's what shear looks like. So we got an idea of how the shear looks like, right? So we'll go back. We'll come back and discuss it. Don't worry. So that's what shearing looks like. So then we are going to do something crazy to a sheet of paper. So this is we are going to crush this. So I'm going to take this, and this is called pure shear. It's also called isochoric compression. So I take I take a big chunk, and I make it short and squat, long and squat. Can you see that? This is how you make bread. You know, like what in India is called a chapati. What you do is you take a round piece of metal like that, and you you know you flatten it out by banging on it. Until so it's, it initially was like this. There's a round piece, and then you go flatten, 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 flatten. You can see it gets flat and broad, and you'll soon get a flat, broad thing. Can you see how the grid change shape? This is the perfect grid, nice and square. And if I make, I can make it longer and thinner like this, or shorter and squatter like this. Can you see that? That's called iso isochoric extension.